Are you ready to finally crush your data overwhelm and streamline all your data into digestible metrics dashboards? In this video, you will learn the three critical components to a great metrics dashboard. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel below and hit the bell to be notified when I post a video every Tuesday about entrepreneurship, systems, and metrics. Data is everywhere these days. Quite frankly, it can get really overwhelming trying to find ways to structure, organize, and just plain make sense out of all your data so you can use it consistently in your business to make better decisions. And every day I help my clients do exactly that. The best way to do this for your business by creating metrics, dashboards, and reports. Quickly, I wanna go into the key difference between a dashboard and a report. A dashboard is a quick, high-level view of a particular area of your business. Something that you could look at and within a minute have a solid grasp of what's happening in that area of your business. A report is a deeper dive into the metrics that you might see in a dashboard. It's often used to dig a little bit deeper to find out why you might be seeing a certain result in your dashboard. This video is primarily focused on dashboards, but the components definitely apply to reports as well. The first component of a great dashboard is simplicity. Great dashboards give a high level yet complete snapshot of a particular area of your business. As I mentioned before, dashboards are something that can be reviewed and absorbed really quickly, often in less than a minute if you need to. Focus on your three to five primary KPIs or any major events or campaigns that may have impacted those KPIs and try to keep your data at the 10,000 foot level. If you need help creating KPIs, check out this video that'll teach you how to create them. Once you have clarity on the top level metrics in your dashboard, you can then dive into the metrics reports for different tactics and platforms to get more details about what influenced the shift in your performance metrics. Comment below and let me know what questions you have about simplifying the data in your dashboards. The second component of a great dashboard is benchmarks. Metrics don't really mean anything unless you have something to compare them to. And in most cases, that comparison is a benchmark. For every KPI or metric that you have on your dashboard, you should have some benchmark to help contextualize performance so you know what's actually performing well and what's not, so that you can make necessary changes to improve performance. A benchmark can come from your own past data, which is preferred, or if you don't have that, you can actually just Google benchmarks for your industry. The third component of a great dashboard, trended performance over time. Trended performance is looking at your own metrics and how they're changing over time. Are they gradually improving or are they gradually getting worse? If it's the latter, it's a clear indication that you need to take a look at that area of your business and why it's not performing as well as it should be. You can look at your data by week, month, quarter, or year, depending on what makes the most sense from an optimization standpoint. Just try to look at it consistently. If you're ready to start making smarter decisions easily and more confidently as you guide your business to greater success, check out my Facebook group, Confident and Data-Driven Entrepreneurs. The link is below and I can't wait to see you there. Make sure to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, and comment below and let me know your biggest takeaway from this video. If you're ready to take your business and marketing to the next level using systems and metrics, don't forget to check out these related videos on my channel. Cheers, friend, to your business success.